2017 Diary by State, Northern Territory, Australia. Wednesday the 1st of March Adelaide to Alice Springs. Had the fresh figs for breakfast which were delicious. Another hot sunny day. The campsite staff drove the golf buggy with all our bags to reception and from there we got a taxi to Adelaide Airport. Keith and I didn't recognize it, we had flown from Alice to Adelaide 10 years ago, so it had obviously had a bit of an architectural makeover. Our flight to Alice Springs left at 10.40am and we had to change our watches as Northern Territory Daylight Saving Time was one hour behind Adelaide time. At Alice Airport we got the Alice Wanderer shuttle taxi service to take us to our motel El Cairo Motel. We walked around the town and it was very hot at midday. Saw the residency house and garden which was open to the public. The Queen and Prize Philip had stayed there in the 1960s for two days and he had got food poisoning. Charles and Diana had also visited Alice and stayed there on a later date. Next to the residency there was a new Northern Territory Supreme Court building almost finished. Walked through Todd Mall and went into Tourist Info. Keith and I inquired about about the shuttle bus taking tourists to all the best sites in and around Alice but unfortunately it had ceased running. Also the man who used to do the free didgeridoo lessons had gone bust and was now a bus driver, we had bought our didgeridoo from him 10 years ago. The tourist info staff recommended us to visit the desert park a few kms outside Alice, so we decided to do this the next day. We visited an art gallery which exhibited Aboriginal artworks. Paintings. An Aboriginal lady called Margaret was sat on a cushion on the floor concentrating on her dot painting. When we tried to talk to her she was not communicative. The gallery owners probably make a handsome profit from these paintings. We walked on to the Royal Flying Doctor Service Museum at 4pm. We had missed the film presentation so instead looked at the museum which was very interesting. Went back to the motel and Kay and I swam in the pool and then had showers. We all went to the Red Ochre Grill restaurant in Todd Mall for our evening meal. Thursday the 2nd of March Alice Springs. Had motel buffet breakfast which was very good. Keith had the full English breakfast which was huge. Then we got a taxi to Desert Park, a wildlife park in the desert outside Alice. I was not feeling well, weak and occasionally lightheaded with a cough and swollen glands in my neck a virus probably picked up on the plane. Hope none of the others catch the bug. Seander kindly gave me some tablets which I took. When we arrived at the park, we had to hurry at top speed to catch the wild birds in flight demonstration in the amphitheater which was just about to start. The ranger gave an excellent talk about desert birds and the setting was spectacular with the McDonnell ranges as a backdrop. We saw owls and kites fly low over our heads and wedge-tailed eagles flying at speed towards the amphitheater. The temperature was 37 C according to one of the park wardens and it got even hotter in the afternoon. We saw animals such as roos and emus and watched an informative presentation about Aboriginal bush tucker by a female Aboriginal park warden who showed us food, wooden tools, weapons and bowls. It was very interesting to hear how the women gathered berries, bush fruits, plus seeds and grasses to make damper, a flat bread, whilst the men's role was to hunt game. She said that wichity grubs tasted like runny egg yolk and were nutritious. They had to bite the heads off the grubs which were found in dead tree branches or tree trunks. The grubs were about two and a half, three inches long and three quarters wide. Luckily, she only had a plastic one to show us which did look quite realistic. We walked into two bird aviaries to see more desert birds, including a large black cockatoo. Then we went to the nocturnal house where an aboriginal guide told us about the exhibit's small mammals such as the bulby, desert rat, numbat, plus snakes and lizards. He said that the small and thin death adder snake is so toxic if it bites you that you only have 40 minutes before you die. Thinking back to us walking around Cook on the Nullabar it was no wonder that the train staff did not want any snake bite victims. Most of the ruse were asleep and lying down so we couldn't see them properly. Did not have any lunch but drank a lot of water. At the end of the afternoon at 3 pm we watched a 20 minutes film about the desert in the cinema. We all enjoyed the desert park. Got a taxi back to our motel. Had a shower then I went to bed and slept for 3 hours. In the evening we all walked into town to a pizza restaurant. I ate hardly anything as still unwell. I don't know how I managed to walk around in the desert heat all day. Went to bed and slept for 10 hours. 
Friday the 3rd of March Alice Springs to Adelaide. We ate breakfast in the motel again then caught the shuttle transport back to the airport via various hotels and backpacker hostels to pick up other tourists. The Qantas flight went over the desert and some massive salt lakes no habitation visible at all from the plane apart from dirt road tracks. When we got to Adelaide we collected our large bags from the left luggage lockers and got a taxi to our motel.